if if this whole trash you on social media and shit like that fuck you over and then say I'm sorry baby and show you like hit you on a snap or on a text message with a big ass ounce of loud she know that you might fuss and, and, and grust but you gonna pull back up at the house and then you gonna pull back up like man what the fuck man what the weed at man but you don't, want, you don't really want to do that because then she's going to look at you like a junkie because she probably already called you a junkie. She probably has already called you a junkie. If she played you like that, I'm sorry, boo. And now she on the goddamn, you know what I'm saying, sent you a picture of weed and you pull up. She is not going to give you that weed damn near until you fuck her. And then even after you fuck her, she might just give you a gram. You are a fucking prostitute. This episode of the Big Bang Podcast is brought to you by my olive leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? And I need to holler at y'all right fast about that bitch. I don't give a fuck whether you a dyke or you a nigga that, you know, you trying to, you know, you actually trying to have a real relationship with a bitch. Or if you just a nigga trying to come up and you just got locked in with a bitch that you really don't want to be locked in with. But because you down bad, you really can't move forward because you ain't got no car, you ain't got the license, you ain't trying to go back home. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to make it on your own. You know what I'm saying? You, you got a good plan. You think you can, you know what I'm saying? You know you can, you know what I'm saying? Get a couple ounces. You get a $50 ounce and shit like that. It's all love. You got a plan and shit like that. But as you're in this, whatever space you're in, you run into an issue. Y'all see this? Y'all can't see that shit. Why the fuck y'all ain't say nothing? Fuck. Yeah. But um, you ran into an issue. The issue you ran into is... This hoe then turned into a real deal monster. This hoe mean as fuck and shit like that. And in and, and, and a lot of cases, this hoe, they turn mean because for the same reason that, that niggas turn mean. And it's they fucking phone. The phone has let them know what the standard of love is. So now, anything less than that standard, anything less than the standard that they see on social media is not going to do. But of course they don't they don't implement that standard on you until they find out what your weaknesses are. Um so let's just let's just I'm I'm going to tell you how to gain respect and if you and, and if you even can gain respect. First of all, if you Look, I know you're enjoying your video, but give me one second. When you go to the PayPal to donate, all my AO Nation members, do not go to paying for item and services. It holds the money and it's charging you. If you have done that, if you've donated and you've hit paying for item or services, you need to go back and release those funds. I have not gotten them. Uh, even if you're buying a shirt, do not hit paying for item or service. It's charging you. Go to send money to a friend. There's two options. And hit the send money to a friend so that it comes straight to me and we don't have to release them because they're asking for a tracking number, which obviously I don't have if you're giving a donation. Even with the shirts, I'm not going to have that tracking number. If you want the shirts, just put $25 in the PayPal and then go to the messenger and give me your address and in three or five business days, you will have the All You See Your Church. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, you need to have a $100 budget if you want to do business. Also, you need to be ready to promote. Do not hit me until you're ready to promote. Period, point blank. I don't want to talk about your idea, about your company, and no shit like that. I have too much going on. If you're an artist and you want feedback and advice on your song, you need to send a $35 deposit so I can listen to it and give you the feedback. I don't have time to do this shit for free. Okay? Um, what else? Uh, T-shirts, PayPal, advertising.
That's it. Uh, this is Saki, and this is Aki. So if you hear me fussing them in the background, now you know what they look like. I'll see y'all in a minute. Enjoy the video. If you're here, What was that? If you watching these videos and your life is still the same as when you first started watching the videos, just go ahead and go to another channel or, or just do something else in life because I need for motherfuckers to be actually improving their lifestyle, uh, using these things that I'm giving and applying them to their everyday life to make it better, whether it's to stop smoking weed, of course, stop doing drugs altogether, Isolate yourself and just cut off everybody so that you can actually focus or if it's to you know what I'm saying like I'm just not gonna fuck with no bitches right now until I get my shit together because fucking is somewhat of a um Instant gratification type situation to where you really feel like you didn't fuck the whole oh man I'm that nigga no matter what the whole look like because you can get drunk and high and really in your mind, make this whole, you can be, like some hoes, they self-esteem so fucked up, these hoes will actually let you fuck them while you watching porn and shit like that. Them hoes understand that they no longer sexually stimulate you in anything that's gonna get them some dick, they, they forward. But also, remember, those, those things, fuck with her at nighttime. Those are inside, of, like, she's not no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? These hoes are retarded, but the thing she can key in on is the things that the the basic instinctive things like real love she knows that what you're giving her isn't real love and a lot of times you could be giving her real love and if you're giving a, if you know that you're giving a bitch real love and she's still coming with that disrespectful shit you know what i'm saying like the nigga who um the nigga who y'all seen this shit on social media where the nigga took the bitch to the car lot the nigga took the bitch to the car lot because this hoe done wrecked two cars. This average, everyday bitch. He took this average, everyday bitch. That's how you know he lame as fuck. You know he a lame ass nigga. You can tell by his voice. He's stuttering. He's so scared of that bitch. And if you in one of them situations, you're going to have to be strong because understand all you're doing is buying pussy, my nigga. That's all the fuck you doing. Just as motherfucking soon as you cannot buy what the fuck she wants, you cannot give her what the fuck she wants, at that time, it's going to be over with. I tell bitches to know your number. Meaning, if you a five, know you a five, and act like a fucking five. I'm, don't let me forget that. I'm going to come back to that. But I tell a nigga, do not fool yourself do not imagine and live in some fantasy world and really believe that that's your bitch when you know that's not your bitch you just paying for. Her. So you rent the hoe. She's no different than any bitch that you can get on Spring Hill. Go right up there on Spring Hill, right between goddamn uh, Kennedy Street and that uh, motherfucking uh, the hood gas station. Right there, the, the Yang store right there. Anywhere up in there. And go on get you, you know what I'm saying? Any bitch you want, whatever like that, and, you, and she'll do you the same fucking way. This nigga took this hoe to a car lot and bought this hoe a whole fucking car. And this hoe said this car ugly. See, the old me, the old me would have told you to take your hand, dog. Because, see, that type of disrespect right there, that blatant disrespect right there, a bitch like that right there be home. We got a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. Um, what I'm trying to tell you right here is why the bitch don't respect you, but I also want to tell you how to get the respect. So let's go back to your situation. You a nigga, you trying to get it up, trying to, you know what I'm saying, make some shit work, whatever like that. You ain't you ain't in the best shape, you know what I'm saying? You know, you you, you didn't fail out of your heyday. You trying to, you, trying, you know what I'm saying, you trying to make some work right here, whatever. 
you have some shortcomings. Let's be, you got to be honest with yourself right here, big home. You got some shortcomings. In the beginning, she overlooked those shortcomings because she just wanted a in-house dick. She wasn't going to do nothing to prolong that in-house dick. So anything it took to make you feel comfortable enough to move in with her, she was with that money, head without fucking money, going to get the weed, you know what I'm saying, giving you the car, spending night, all that, you know what I'm saying, whatever it's being inside, whatever the fuck it took. She was all with that. Now, what you've noticed is, now that you want to, you know, about a, a month or two months, you done moved in with the whole whatever, of course. Now you start to notice around the, the one and a half month mark, you know what I'm saying? You're not paying no bills. You barely putting gas in the car. She taking care of you, whatever like that. Now, you're trying to say you're dope, but because you won't stop doing dope, you really can't make no money. So you finding yourself trapping and needing a mama at the same time. Because you won't stop doing dope. I'm talking about any fucking drug. Even your fucking cigarettes, your alcohol. Because you will not stop that shit. But most of the drugs, let's just stick to that. Because you don't see your drug as in a hindrance on you making money, you won't stop doing it. And because you don't have the mental wherewithal, you don't have the mental strength, the self-discipline to stop doing dope, you have to ask her for this and that. And every time you ask her for something, how much she respects you goes lower, lower, lower. Because she sees she doesn't have to. She can just buy you. She doesn't have to respect you. She can just buy you. She can snap on you. Do you bad. And then you weak ass nigga. And give you a hundred dollars. And then to kill all that. Because she's found out that you don't have nowhere else to go. She's been testing you this whole time. This whole time that you... She's been fucking with you. She's been analyzing like a fucking computer. This, and, and this is why when a bitch try to tell me that she don't know something, or, uh, you smarter than me, all that bullshit is out the fucking window because once it come down to you trying to find out whether a nigga uh, fucking another bitch or, you know what I'm saying, what a nigga got going on in his life and shit like that, you real dear grade A detective, you know what I'm saying, monk on some shit. But when it come down to me telling you Shout out to my nigga Big Body. Uh, he came through the day. Y'all seen that show on Instagram. When it come down to you using your mind, there's an issue. There's um, it, it's it's a futile mission because that's the hardest thing you'll ever get a girl to do. Let's get to the point of how, cause I I want to go. Let's go get to the point of how you change this. If it can be changed, then, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you, in my journeys, I've realized that this is a good way to, you know, if you really plan on being with this bitch, you know what I'm saying, if you know you got to be, if you don't got nowhere else to go, and it's really over with for you, like, you really, you don't have no home to go back to, like, it's over with, over with for you, and you really trying to, but see, if you, if you, you fucked up like that. You better not let that hoe know that. Dog, you need to be flexing your move as much as you can, even if you have to go to a fucking hotel. This way you gotta stop doing no fucking drugs, dog, because if you show this hoe that you are really homeless, like a lot of y'all are, like a lot of us are, or a lot of us were, when she finds it out, if she has 50% of respect for you, that shit gonna go down to 20. And there's a big difference between 50 and 20. Because now we get to the point where the disrespect becomes so extreme that it may become physical. On some shit like they no longer ask you if you in the mood or if you wanna fuck. 
Now hoes just start straight up grabbing through the cover. Not grabbing in a sensual, sexual way. Grabbing, like, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, bit home. Let me go and get that, y'all. Let me go and get that. Ain't no head with it. Oh, you need to get this motherfucker up. You need to get this motherfucker up. Scratch him. You need to get this motherfucker up now. Dog, when these hoes test you, you need to make a motherfucking move. Do not let these hoes get away with testing you like that. Because I'm telling you, it's only gonna, it's just like the streets. It's only going to get worse. Do not be fooled by no church outfit. Don't be fooled by no Bibles around the house. None of that shit, dog. They said that the devil knew the Bible just as well as, as, as God did. Don't be fooled by nothing. Actions mean everything. It's only going to get worse until you get to the point where this hoe is flexing you out. Not only in public, but on social media. This nigga ain't shit. This bitch ass nigga, because she know you ain't got no family. She She's seeing how many people fuck with you on social media. She's seeing that you don't actually have no friends, except for these niggas that you smoking with. And they don't give a fuck about you. You a fucking joke. You a joke. And now she know it. It's going to get rough for you, dog. I don't know what to tell you. Exactly. If if you can't stop doing drugs, because it's just what I'm finna tell you is not really gonna help you if you cannot stop her respect for you. If you can't stop her respect for you from lowering, then this will be for not. It won't be for shit, whatever like that. You have to make sure that at all times she knows that being with you. It's not a necessity for you. It's a choice of yours. At any point in time, you can make a move. So if you got to get a hotel room for a night or two, whatever like that, to show this bitch that this is what this is, these hoes will play dirty with you. Depending on how desperate a bitch is, the bitch might actually start buying the dope that you want. This is why I tell you that weed may be the worst drug that there is because of how accessible it is and how accepted it is by everybody. If if this whole trash you on social media and shit like that, fuck you over and then say, I'm sorry, baby, and show you, like, hit you on a snap or on a text message with a big ass ounce of loud, she know that you might fuss and, and, and gruss, but you're going to pull back up at the house and then you're going to pull back up like, Man, what the fuck, man? What a weed at, man. But you don't want, you don't really want to do that because then she's gonna look at you like a junkie because she probably already called you a junkie. She probably has already called you a junkie. If she played you like that, I'm sorry, boo. And now she on the goddamn, you know what I'm saying, sent you a picture of weed and you pull up. She is not gonna give you that weed damn near until you fuck her. And then even after you fuck her, she might just give you a gram. You are a fucking prostitute. So this shit is bullshit if you have a fucking vice that cannot be controlled. But let's get let's get down to the fucking point. The fuck was that? Alright, so what you have to do is the whole is, you know what I'm saying? You wanna work out, you know, work out y'all issues and shit like that, but of course, you're smart enough to know that the more people you let inside of your household, you know what I'm saying? the harder it will be to get them the fuck out of your household. You know what I'm saying? Like, you letting them in on the problem, so now when shit going all good, they're like, hmm, it's all good. Couldn't be me. You know what I'm saying? So, what you want to do is just give the impression like it's not just y'all two talking because a lot of times what happen is she'll talk that retarded ass shit. Same thing, you know, he might, I, I, I don't know. But she'll talk that retarded shit without logic, without reasoning. She'll talk that shit and, and, 
tell you some bullshit that happened at her job. You didn't ask for this fucking information about what happened at her fucking job, but she'll bring that to you. One sec. Yeah, come your bitch head back over here. Um, she'll bring that shit to you, and then when you don't agree with her because it's bullshit and it was her fault, you know, she told me, so they ain't told me to get on the fucking fire wheel like that. I'm working the fucking front car. I'm not, I can't be going from the front car to the fucking fries if I got a fucking customer up front and shit like that. I ain't, I'm not going to be running like that for no seven fucking fifty. If y'all, if I'm going to be running back and forth, y'all got to get me at least $8. I, I ain't with that shit. And, you know, the your question may be, so were you busy when he asked you to go to the fries? What the fuck? So, she do why I don't like see niggas. That's why, that's where my fucking keys at. I'm finna go. You know what I'm saying? At that point in time, like, in my mind, they say, hold on, like, bitch. You came in here and asked me what I did today, and you only asked me that so you can tell me what happened at your fucking job. This is why I gave you such a stale answer when you asked me about what, what happened today. Because you wouldn't understand what the fuck I did today. The shit I'm trying to do is 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 so outlandish, so outside the box. It's I can't just tell you that I'm trying to be a fucking rapper. I'm trying to be a promotional marketer or AR or no shit like that because you wouldn't understand the words I'm saying because they're more than fucking two syllables. So I'm just gonna say nothing. But I was in here just trying to, you know, do my thing, whatever like that, write my shit out, whatever, and you came and sat down by me, and I really don't understand why the fuck you by me for real, and see, when you, when you have those kind of thoughts, it's time to get the fuck out, it's time, when you have those kind of thoughts, like, you can't stand to be around this bitch, it's time to get the fuck out, there's no reason to even go further with this whole respect shit, because you don't like this whole, because, if you're that logical in your thinking to where you don't fuss back with the bitch, then you're logical, like, you know that there's no win here. But, you know, you know, go forward with it, yada yada. So, she's saying the bullshit, whatever like that. What you have to do now is start recording. Whenever you feel the shit starting to get heated, you start recording like, so, you mad because I told you that I asked you where the customer was. No, what I'm mad about is, yeah, you around here, I'm trying to tell you my day. I'm trying to have, what kind of relationship is this? I have to, like, oh, no, what I'm saying. Why the fuck you got that camera on me? You have to record them. You have to record them because the same way she was peeping you out, you need to peep her out. Peep her, like, peep out whether or not she gets complimented the way she wants to get complimented. Not from you. I mean, from social media or from the people at her job or just out in public the guys even look at her like that nine times out of ten with a bitch that's that evil and shit like that she doesn't feel um significant she does she has low self-esteem this is why she tries to project that energy onto you she wants you to feel this is this is coward shit i call it coward shit not low self-esteem and nothing else bullying shit i don't call it i call it coward shit whenever you like to be around lower life forms because they make you feel big without having to try. Like you like to bitches like kids because kids obviously aren't smarter than them. Once the kids get a certain age, they don't like them, so they have another child. The reason they do this is because once the child reaches a certain at 15 years old, the child knows just as much, if not more, than she does. Probably more because you know, as the kids come up now, they're more advanced. School has only got school has only got more advanced since it began. Um, when I went to school, we had books. When they go to school now, they don't have books. They have fucking, you know what I'm saying, tablets and shit like that. So that's coward shit to me. If your day, whether you a trap nigga, you know, a, a engineer, an architect, or a nothing ass bitch, if you like to hang around lower life forms, meaning people that cannot 
give you anything but praise because you're higher than them. Which means, obviously, like, it's kind of like uh, a nigga that's not handicapped going into the Special Olympics. And you love going there because you always win. You don't want to compete because you may lose. You, you want to be around lower life forms, people that you can beat. And when you see this in a person, you should get the fuck away from them. Because if they have this by the time that you guys are dating, which means she's over 20 years old. Fuck it, over, yeah, over 20 years old. Then this is going to be a lifetime condition. This is going to be a lifetime mindset. But this is what you have right here. So, you, you, you watch her throughout the day and it's like, um... She don't get compliments and shit like that. and She can't go nowhere else. There's nowhere else she can go. And she knows that. And she hates that. She hates the fact that no one hollers at her. So now she's going to put all that fucking weight onto your head. Why don't you never compliment me? But she can't really say that. He try to snuggle up on you in a bed and shit like that. It's like, God damn, bitch. Fuck. Man, I fucked up, dog. God damn, I need to get my life together. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be with this bitch, but because of your current circumstances, and this is why I tell niggas, man. Starting from zero, dog. Is much better than starting from fucking negative eight because what this whole eventually is gonna make you do because if you can't use logic and reasoning with a, a grown up with an a, with an adult, then you're gonna have to go down to their level and you're gonna have to like before you know it you're gonna put hands on this bitch. You gonna put hands on the bitch. Because you don't understand words. You're using the best words you can. You start a recording. That. Every time you get... Because this, 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 the, the, the tip I'm giving you is... Every time y'all about to get in an argument, start recording. And, and then during times of um, solace, times of peace, you show her... Like when y'all just riding the car, like, hey, I want to go over some of this game film. I want to go over some of these things that I recorded when we were in arguments and see if we can't find out what went wrong. Um... You, obviously, you know I was recording when we got in that last argument. I wouldn't, I wasn't recording, obviously, to put it up on social media to show anybody. I wanted me and you to go over it and see what it was that I did that made you angry, and what it is that we can do in the future so that we don't have these type of arguments anymore. Because I don't want to live in this type of environment. If the bitch then responds and tells you, if you don't want to live here, you can just leave, fucking leave. Take her fucking advice. And leave. If her response is anything other than. I want peace too. You need to fucking leave. You can take my advice right now. Or you're going to hear it ringing in your fucking head. As you know what I'm saying. In the county. For either domestic violence. Murder or attempted murder.